Hi guys, in this video, we will talk about popover menu. If we have to design a popover menu, how we can do that in out systems. So let me first show you what I mean by popover menu. So let's begin. Uh, this is my um, one of my uh, Zoho um, uh, Zoho account. So I I have just opened this to show you what is popover popover menu and about what I am talking. So you see this three dot. I believe you might have seen this thread out on multiple websites and multiple applications. If you click here, it, it, it gives me some of the options, right? These are all the links and the uh, new page uh, URLs and all, right? So if we have to design something similar, if we have to give this three dot or it can be another icon or it can be just a more text. If we have to give that and on click of that particular icon, if you want to open one another popover menu and if you want to put that anywhere in the screen, it is similar to menu, what we see here or what, what you, you can see here, but the menu cannot be put anywhere in the screen. So for that purpose, we have a popover menu. So let's see how we can design that. Let me just close this. So this is the out systems. I have already created the application and module and the screen. Now, if we have to design a popover menu, we have a popover, popover widget available. Popover, popover menu widget. We can just drag and drop the popover menu widget here. By default, it adds the more text and it gives the way to add the links here. So let me click here and let me go to widget tree. This is my popover menu. Uh, if we click here, it will not be shown. That popover menu will not be shown on the screen, but that will be there. But it will just not shown on this developer developer view. So let me just open this. We have two placeholders. One is top content. One is border bottom content. In the top content, we will have the icon, text, and uh, uh, image, whatever it is, which is going to um, uh, going to be visible on the screen and user will be able to perform action on that so for now it is more text and one one icon this this icon this uh, uh, arrow icon right so we can delete both and we can add another icon that will be three dot so right click insert widget icon by default it adds an icon um, a flag icon we can double click to this icon and we can just change we want uh, dot we say <laughs> eclipses horizontal eclipses are also there and vertical eclipses are, are also there whichever we want as per the requirement we can select for now i am selecting the um, um vertic, uh, horizontal eclipses okay so this will be the top content this will be visible to user on the ui on click of this top content automatically bottom content will be pop over this is the property of pop over menu and we can add whatever we want in this bottom content so right click insert widget add a container now inside container you can add links so i can add one link that will go to my website so this link will be um out system ods out system developer school and on click of this link i will just navigate user to to out system developer school out systems developer school.com right second link i will have uh, i can just copy paste google copy paste this will be google google okay uh, you can see the links uh, uh, in in one row only so if we want to uh, show each link in another row we can just right click and include in a container so now it will it, so each link will show in the different row now this link will go to google.com similarly we can add one more link which will go to lookadme.com one of my another website this will be lookadme.com google.com spelling was not correct so we can just add a dot that's it it was just a simple exercise and we can give lookadme as a text and uh, we should add some 
top margin as well so that it will look good. So we can add a CSS class, the container margin top s. So it will adopt a slight margin. So you see now it is it is correct. It looks good. So this this uh, so this is it. Uh, we, uh, if we are uh, uh, if we want to use this popover menu in the um, I will say in the, in the table associated to row, we can give the options like edit, delete, move, copy, something like that, right? So let me show you how it will look like on the screen and how user will be able to perform action on that popover menu. We have not handled any event because automatically out system has written the code uh, on this popover menu. But if we have to handle we can handle more events as well you see now it is opening and if i click anywhere else this popover menu is disappearing if i click here it will go to google.com right and whatever we want to achieve we can achieve with this we can also use different icons here as per the requirement that's it guys in this way we can use the popover menu thanks for watching this video